Joining me now is Democratic Congressman Matt Cartwright, member of the Oversight and Government Reform Committee and the Health Care Subcommittee. Representative Cartwright, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining me. It's my pleasure, Alex. How are you? I'm well, thanks. I hope you are, too. I've got to ask, do you agree with this subpoena threat? Well, I mean, you have to realize the House uh, Oversight and Government Reform Committee does have the power and the job of uh, looking into uh, all areas of uh, government uh, uh, fraud, waste, and abuse. Um, and, and they have the right to do that. Um, I, I don't, you know, I don't relish the, the idea of uh, uh, hauling uh, Secretary Sebelius before our committee, uh, given the way uh, that committee has handled itself uh, the rest of this year. Uh, it's not exactly a, an impartial tribunal we're talking about here. Uh, it's more of a uh, more of a Republican spin factory, unfortunately. It kind of, uh, uh, I'd like to say I'm proud to be on that committee, but uh, that's a committee that right now uh, makes uh, the old Soviet show trials look like uh, honest exercises in fact finding. Woo! To which I say, yikes. But don't you think that she's going to answer the Commerce Committee questions scheduled on Wednesday? Uh, I'm sure she will. Uh, uh, Secretary Sebelius is a, a responsible person, and I know she's going to be taking a, a, a lot of personal responsibility for the, the glitches that are going on uh, with uh, healthcare.gov. Uh, but I, I hope she'll have an opportunity to point out that that's just uh, a, a small piece of the, the Affordable Care Act, uh, that so many parts of that are already working. Uh, that it's being rolled out properly in so many parts of America. Look at Kentucky uh, with uh, uh, Governor uh, Steve Bashir uh, uh, properly boasting that they're signing up a thousand people a day uh, for health care. Uh, one of the great ironies, of course, is that um, if, if we're looking into who's causing the delay, uh, you know, who's causing the problems with the rollout, uh, a big measure of the blame rests squarely on the shoulders of the Republican governors who refused to, uh, to involve the states uh, in, uh, in uh, shouldering some of the burden uh, mm -hmm. of, of engaging in the rollout themselves. Yeah, I just want to make a point to a plug for uh, David Gregory with Meet the Press tomorrow because Governor Bashir of Kentucky will be on his show talking about this exact thing. Um, Chairman Issa has argued that Secretary Sebelius has been more forthcoming with the media than with Congress. Of course, we in the press certainly want more transparency, but do you feel, Representative Cartwright, that the administration has been forthcoming with you and your colleagues? Uh, they have. You know, I, I think uh, you have to look at the big picture here. Uh, the big picture is uh, this is a rollout of a, a big and complex and complicated uh, and enormous uh, undertaking. Uh, but it's a worthwhile one. It's one that people uh, want. Uh, and in, in fact, uh, I think uh, just yesterday on uh, MSNBC, uh, the former governor of Utah, the Republican governor, um, uh, Mike Levitt, appeared. And he was the secretary of uh, Health and Human Services when we did the rollout of Medicare Part D uh, eight years ago. And he talked uh, quite frank, uh, frankly about the problems they had with that rollout. There were enormous headaches involved in that. Uh, but we don't remember those uh, because what we look at now is the big picture. Medicare Part D is a terrific program and has helped so many people. Um, that's what we need to be doing with uh, the rollout of the ACA. We need to be uh, letting history uh, be the judge. And uh, let's look back on it uh, eight years from now. And right. I think everybody's going to be pretty happy. With a little bit of perspective um, from time. Um, if Secretary Sebelius were testifying before your committee this week, what would you ask her? Well, a lot of what I do on that committee, you know, the, the, the people on that committee uh, in the majority, uh, is the way they conduct those hearings, it's quite uh, deranged, actually. Uh, mm. They don't allow witnesses to answer the questions. Uh, they just pontificate. Uh, they make uh, grandstanding into an art form. Um, and if I'll be doing anything at all uh, with questioning Secretary Sebelius, it will be to uh, give her time to answer the questions that have been hurled at her. 
by the other side. You know, um, a bit earlier, I played an incident in the committee meeting in which Representative Frank Pallone and a GOP colleague clashed. Can we expect the same kind of partisan bickering over this to keep happening? I mean, is it too much to hope that it would just be more for seeking solutions? Well, uh, uh, there there have been horrible instances of of bickering, uh, but I think it's uh, it's it's too global to call it partisan bickering because n both sides are not engaged in it. Uh, this is a, a unilateral uh, uh, embarrassment. Uh, the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. Uh, we saw uh, we saw people uh, basically abusing uh, Admiral Mike Mullen. Uh, in the Benghazi testimo testimony. This is somebody who has, to his core, is an American patriot uh, and has devoted his life in service to this country and did not deserve to be treated like that. Uh, yeah, we might well expect uh, further behavior like that from the GOP on that committee. But, you know, I, look, you're talking with us. You have certainly called out your Republican colleagues, uh, you know, on the committee and, and others in, in Congress. In do Democrats expect to get a warm reception when they come back together and try and move the ball forward? Well, that's, that's what I, I, I always tell people, is that we, we didn't get elected to go to Washington to go down and bicker with each other. We, we went down there to roll up our sleeves and get the job done. And on the Oversight and Government Reform Committee, that's a fact-finding enterprise. That's supposed to be something where we roll up our sleeves and we work together. And I'm prepared to do that. And all of my colleagues on that committee on the Democratic side are prepared to do that. Uh, but it's a committee where that kind of thing is not happening, and it's a, it's a serious disappointment because, uh, you know, we t that's a committee devoted to preventing waste of money in American government. Uh, the way it's been run this year, uh, I can't speak to prior years, I'm a freshman in Congress, but the way it's been run this year, that committee itself is a colossal waste of money. All right, Representative Matt Cartwright, thanks, good to see you.